Hello, grade eight. Welcome uh, to drama, second unit, forms and uh, general or structure. So, in this unit, we are going to learn more uh, about forms in drama and how to structure a play. So, we are going to start with a, a small uh, introduction about forms and genre. So, it's very important we, uh, how we are going to use it in a drama because it will help us how actually to structure a play and how to make our acting more amazing and uh, uh, to make it easy for you as an actor. And you can design and you can structure your play uh, by using uh, forms and structure. To make it easy for you so all the exercise and activities that we are going to use it it will help you more uh, to understand what is the meaning of forms and uh, structure so forms or form is the basic of a drama it's how the drama constructed this is actually uh, how we are going to use uh, forms in a drama. We have different kinds of forms. We use it to make our acting more interesting and to make it actually, if you want to make something creative in a drama, so you, uh, you need to use a lot of uh, forms in your act. In this picture here, we have a skeleton. So think of uh, form as the skeleton of the drama. As we go through the drama process, we add and build upon it. This is actually the skeleton forms. And then we add meat to the bones. And those actually the forms that we add, uh, we are going to add it to the uh, uh, skeleton. So, so we are going to structure, we add the character, okay, we add uh, theater arts, we add the plot, general, characterization, all these elements we add, we are going to add it to the skeleton and actually to. Uh, make a human body this is actually what we are going to do be forms and structure this is the skeleton the forms and the meat are the structure that we add to the our uh, human body types of forms a play a play actually uh, scripted or uh, improvised. So we have two kind of a plays. Plays actually where uh, they use a script, and in this script there is the characters, there is the event, there is a set, the props, all the things that are related to that play. Improvisation sometimes we improvise according to the situation. There is no script used. But actually, the actors they use their talent in uh, to improvise something on the stage. Mime, also mime, uh, one of the major types of form. We use it uh, uh, a lot in a drama to make our acting more interesting. Or if we want to explain something to the audience, we use mime techniques. Monologue, monologue. Of course, we use monologue a lot. Monologues, when there is, uh, uh, if you want to mention something to the audience, we use monologue technique. We have monologue and dialogues. So we use those techniques to uh, those uh, forms to uh, make our acting more interesting. Movement. Of course, we use our physicality in the drama to act and to dance. Uh, this is, we call it physical theater. And it's very important to make the show or the play. A musical. Sometimes we add a musical uh, music to our act, uh, sound effects or music in the background, or sometimes we use live music, singing, dancing during the show. Those the most uh, general forms we are going to use it in a drama. 
uh, pantomime actually this is uh, one of the uh, forms but this is an advanced uh, level actually pantomime only one actor who acts the whole uh, play Uh, Dick drama. This is a, a documentary drama. We use it a lot be, during uh, movies or during uh, the cinema. So we use a docu a drama, documentary to explain something to the audience. We forms uh, theater. We have different kind of forms of the theater. We use it to make our acting more interesting. As we mentioned, the play and improvisation, we use a script or to improvise according to the uh, situation. Physical theater, we use the physicality and uh, physicality, we use a lot of actor when we are going to make a physical theater to make it more effective to the audience. Mime act without talking. This is actually according to the actor skills that he is going to use uh, his body language more than talking. We mentioned actually we use a traditional dialogue to tell the audience what's going on the uh, character head sometimes. Movement, we have different kind of movement. We have dance, we have uh, um, uh, we use the dance, we use the first attack movement. So we use movement a lot to drama. Drama it's about movement. A musical, as we mentioned, this is actually type of a musical. Sometimes we make a you know, musical play, or sometimes we use the music in uh, different ways. But this is also come up pantomime. When actor he's going to make all the uh, characters, it's very difficult for an actor actually to act the whole play in. Uh, uh, in a certain time, like uh, such as he's going to act like in a play for one hour or uh, 45 minutes sometimes. Jackie drama, we mentioned this is actually you know, one of the type we use it a lot. If we want, uh, if we want to give the audience more uh, explanations about what happened, we use Jackie drama by recording uh, something about the situation. So this is in general how we use uh, forms in the drama and we are going to make a lot of activities about those forms in uh, theater and all of them they are going to explain something for, uh, to the audience and it will help us to send a message to the audience. So we are going to make uh, an activities about the different uh, types of forms. In general, of course, we are going to uh, mention uh, as a type uh, of uh, a drama uh, that you can create. So uh, forms and genre they work together. If you want to structure your play, then you are going to add forms to your play to make it more interesting. In general, we have two kinds of genre. We have linear types and we have non-linear types that we are going to give you more description and to give you more example for that uh, so you can structure your play according to the one of the style that you are going to use it even uh, linear or non-linear the linear style we have beginning middle ending uh, non-linear style we are going to make shifts uh, shift with timing so we are going to start with the ending sometimes then go to the uh, beginning then we're going to move to the uh, middle actually we have different plots we, uh, we use it according to non-linear style those actually types of uh, genre that we are going uh, to mention that you know uh, be in each pictures and we are going to take a lot of uh, example of uh, tragedy of comedy of uh, historical or um, uh, any uh, serious or uh, uh, monodrama so all these kind of a drama we are going to make examples for that we are going to make a lot of acting uh, inside the classroom about all these types of um, or genre and drama thank you very much